In this video we're going to look at using the ACE table calculations and we'll start with the equation which is this equation here which only applies to the 555 timer it doesn't apply to other types of ACE tables and another point to note is that sometimes you see it written with the equation as RA plus 2RB C all over 1.44 these two equations are equivalent because 0.7 is 1 over 1.44 okay so it doesn't matter which of the two equations you use but I'm going to concentrate on using this one which I've written on the board so we're going to start off with our first example which is relatively straightforward RA is 1 kilo ohm RB is 47 kilo ohms C is 220 microfarads and we're asked to find out what the time period is. So let's try that. We write down our equation. T equals 0.7 brackets. Now it's a thousand. Sorry. 1 times 10 to the 3. Because I'm going to use the standard form throughout. Plus 2 times 47 times 10 to the 3. Multiplied by. C, which is 220 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, just a very brief note before we carry on. What I've noticed there is that K is equivalent to 10 to the 3, and micro is equivalent to 10 to the minus 6, which you should be familiar with. So if we find our Windows calculator, and we'll have a go at calculating this. So we do 0 0.7 multiplied by, being careful to use the brackets properly, so it's 1 exponent 3 plus 2 times 47 exponent 3 close brackets multiplied by 220 exponent minus 6 equals so 14.63 seconds so my time period is 14.6, that's a little bit too precise, so we'll call it 14.6 seconds. It's approximately 15 seconds. So that's our first equation dealt with. Let's have another example. Here's a second example. So again, we can see we've got RA is 1 kilo ohm, RB is 2K2. Now 2K2 means 2,200, which means 2.2 kilo ohms which means 2.2 times 10 to the 3 that's what this K notation in the center means and our C is 47 nanofarads this time now nano is equivalent to 10 to the minus 9 so that's another one we have to know and again we're being asked to find the time so let's start where we always start with our equation so T equals 0.7 so it's RA, which is 1 times 10 to the 3, plus 2 times 2.2 times 10 to the 3, times by 47 times 10 to the minus 9. And what we'll do is we'll pull up our Windows calculator, and we'll see if we can do this calculation. So we go 0 0.7 multiplied by open bracket, 1 times 10 to the 3, plus... 2 times 2.2 times 10 to the 3, close brackets, multiplied by 47 exponent minus 9 equals, and we get a very small number. So we'll write that down. T equals 0.0018 seconds. I'm only going to two significant figures. Now if we move our decimal place, 1, 2, 3, we get that t equals 0.18 milliseconds. Quite often when we're designing ACE tables we're more interested in frequency, so we should know that frequency is 1 over the time period, and therefore I can also write down that the frequency is this number. So we do the 1 over function, which is just above the equals, just there, and we find the number comes out to be 5628, which again is too precise, so we'll write it down as two significant figures, 5600 zero, zero hertz, or continuing our trend of writing it down in standard form, 5.6 k 
kilohertz. Lots of things to think about in that example. Let's move on. So our next example is change slightly. We're given RA is 1 kilo ohm again, we're given C is 220 microfarads, we're given T is 0 0.5 seconds and we're asked to find RB. This is quite a difficult um, equation to manipulate, so we'll have a go at it and see if we can work it out. I'm actually going to approach it in a slightly different way. I'm going to write T equals 0 0.7 multiplied by, it's 1000, just for now, I'm going to write 1000, plus 2 rb multiplied by c which is 220 times 10 to the minus 6 so I've actually put the values in to start with I'm then going to do a, a bit of rearranging so I'm going to bring this bracket here is going to be what I want to be just here next to my equal sign so I'm going to go 1000 plus 2 RB is equal to, and on the other side I've got T, which is 0 0.5 divided by, open brackets, 0 0.7 multiplied by 220 times 10 to the minus 6, close brackets. So what I did there, if I look at the equation up above, I effectively took this part and this part together down underneath the T. So I ended up with T over 0.7c equals ra plus 2rb and I'm not going to simplify it any further from there, I'm actually going to calculate it so I'm going to start off by calculating the right hand side of the equation so Windows calculator so what we do is we do 0.5 divided by and then we go open brackets and then we go 0.7 multiplied by and then we go 2 to 0, exponent minus 6, close brackets, equals, ok, so what I get here is I get 1000 plus 2RB equals, and I'm only going to write down the first two significant figures here, 3200 ohms, that's what this value has told me, my 3200 ohms just there. Now, I can now do a little bit more manipulation, take the 1000 over that side, so I get 2RB equals, the 1000 becomes a minus, so I get 2200, and that's 2RB, so I need to divide by 2, so RB equals 1100 ohms. And that's the way that you do this calculation. You start off by calculating this part here, the T divided by 0.7C, you get a number, you take the ROA away from it, and then you divide by 2 as the last step. So that's quite complex. But not as complex as this one. So this is much worse, or better, depending on how much you like your maths. We've got RA is 1K, we want T is 20 milliseconds, that's what we're trying to achieve. And we haven't got RB or C. This is crazy. Well, we're going to have to guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a guess about our value for C. So let's guess, and it doesn't matter what you guess, let's guess C equals, well 20 milliseconds is quite a short period of time, so we want quite a small capacitor. So let's go 0 0.1 microfarad, because I happen to have some of those in my tray. And now we can do exactly the same to find RB as we just did a moment ago. So I'm going to write down, I'm going to take a a shortcut and start halfway through. T divided by 0 0.7 times C equals RA plus 2RB. So that's just the equation written in a slightly different form. So I'm going to put the numbers in and calculate it. So I want 20. Now what does milli mean? Well, milli is another of our units, milli means 10 to the minus 3 so it's 20 times 10 to the minus 3 that's our time divided by brackets 0 0.7 times by our guessed value 0 0.1 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 1000 because we were given RA as 1000 there look plus 
to RB. So let's go and get our Windows calculator and work that out. OK. Oops. Rub that off. Sorry about that. So we'll go 20 exponent minus 3, that's time period, divided by, open brackets, 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.1 exponent minus 6, close brackets, equals, that's a very large number. This number here is our 1000 plus 2RB, so we're going to approximate that to 286K. So therefore, 286 kilo ohms equals 1000 ohms plus 2RB. Take the 1000 onto that side, it becomes minus. So therefore, 285 kilo ohms equals 2RB. Divide that by 2, and you get 142.3 kilo ohms equals RB. So what I would probably write is I'd probably write something like RB equals approximately 140 kilo ohms, and that would give us a solution. There we go. Why would I choose to do this time period, by the way, just as an interesting sake, interesting point of view? F equals 1 over T, so therefore F equals, if I get my calculator, clean that bit off, and clear it, what I find is, if I do 20 milliseconds, 20 exponent minus 3, and I do 1 over it, it comes out to be 50 hertz, which is mains frequency. So, it's just an interesting number.